give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen.
Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. <coughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Oh my Jesus, Give us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for one is children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sights, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. <coughs> Turn that most gracious advocate that eyes mercy towards us. <coughs> and after this, our exile, do unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement and loving, sweet Virgin Mary. That we may meet your feet to the promises of Paris. O God, for from the begotten Son, life, death, and resurrection. Advocate for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that upon meditating on these mysteries of the gospel we also may believe. Of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may with thee not be contained. Same on the promises of the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or stopped your intercession, was left unaided, deprived by this confidence. I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. Jesus, the Lord eternal, despise not my petition, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in our sins. Against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
Please stand. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens His will <clears throat> to make known the wicked oppressing. Now see His proud distressing. Sing praises to His name. He forgets not His own. Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining. Whose kingdom calls all to the love which endures. So from the beginning, the fight we are winning. You, Lord, were at our side. All glory be yours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. I welcome you here on the first Fridays of the month of December, and also we on the Friday of the first week of Advent. And today we also have the speaker who shared with us about the season of Advent that preparing to celebrate Christmas. Before we celebrate this Eucharist, we ask God for mercy and forgiveness as we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, you, to you, my brother and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my in thoughts my thought, and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and what I have failed to do, to do through my fall, through, through my fall, through my most readily fall. Therefore, I ask, as blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you my brother and sister, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come that with you to protect us, we may find secure from the pressing dangers of our sins. And with you to set us free, we may be found worthy of salvation who live and reign with you, with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, But a little, but a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard will be regarded as a forest. On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. And all who are alert to do evil will be cut off, those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my holy name, they shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob, and be in awe of the God of Israel. 
Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response oil psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light, light and my, and my salvation. salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light, light and, my and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on me on earth. When he entered the house, the blind man approaches him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, see that no one know about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you follow the scripture reading for today, that according to Matthew, the message before that, Jesus already healed several people, the woman and all the things that, and then now another thing that Jesus is healing, two blind men. And yes, Jesus is walking out, and then they keep following, say, Jesus, sons of David, have pity on us. And yes, Jesus kind of little bit ignored, then let, later on just say, do you believe that I can do it? You know, Jesus is just asking, yeah, do you believe I can do it? And they the one that say, yes, Lord, we believe that you can do it. He touched their eyes and yet say, don't do this. Don't say it to anyone. But they could not keep silent. They come and then share the good news, let people know what's going on here. Many of us that, yes, physically they are blind. But why Jesus say, do you have faith? Do you believe? Do you believe that I can do it for you? Say, yes, yes, the faith. Huh? And so not only the faith that they have, eagerly they want to see what God sees, but the lesson is for many of us, we probably blind, 
not physically we think we see, but honestly we not see what God wants us to see. During this Advent season, we come here humbly in front of the Lord and know that we are very, you know, fragile and very weak. And yes, we're not able to see what the Lord wants us to see. Please open our eyes so we can see the goodness, rather see the burdensome with all this coronavirus, all so, so distant, all this and that. But maybe Jesus might call us in the way, see how good and blessing that we been through all this, make us more mature, make us more know that doesn't matter, nothing can take the love away from us, even sickness or even all the things, but the love of God still be stronger in each one of us. During this season of Advent, yes, don't let anything, you know, take us away from the love that Lord God planted in our heart. Advent is mean coming, and Advent is with full of hope and expectation so the Lord can come into our life. We have to be alert. We have to be watchful. And in order to be watchful, we're able to see, we're able to be alert, so we know what God really, really wants us to see. And may the Lord bless upon us and able to comfort us in the time that we not able to see and depend on another people so they can help us, they can explain it to us, the to blind men get so confused and lost, you know? And so they just heard Jesus coming somewhere, some distance. They make it so loud. They eager to come. And yes, they profess their faith. Not only say, I believe, but they put their faith in action, in action. Yesterday, we hear that. Don't say, Lord, Lord, and you able to enter into the kingdom of God. But listen to the word and act upon it. And for those who yesterday here at Mass, I share with you, listen it easy, but act upon it and do it with little challenge. Today too, we can see things, we can know things, but we believe into doing it. It quite up the challenge. And if we believe into it and doing it, and we able to follow what God really call upon us. Please guide us. Come, Lord Jesus, save us. So please stand up so we able to offer our prayer and our petition to the Lord as we say them. For the church, held close by the shepherd of Israel, that all will be open to receiving God's merciful love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are entrusted with positions of leadership, that they may govern with wisdom, prudence, and compassion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. For the sick and their families, friends and caregivers, that they know God's healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For this worshiping community that we rouse ourselves to cling to God this Advent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of my Yoko Fine, 
to whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We present you all those parishioners who quarantine, not able to join us at this Mass. We also pray for all those who follow on live stream uh, to attend this Eucharistic celebration, have faith in the truly Christ's presence in this Eucharist. Bless upon those who are dying and those people who are worried and not able to see the wonder of God. Bless upon them during this challenging time. Open their eyes and our eyes to see what you want us to see. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who bless upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, receive my sacrifice in human heart. Lord, what's the way my new and clean me from my sins? Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offering. And since we have no merit to please our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protections of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today I using the Eucharistic prayer and preface for reconciliation number two, if you want to follow number two. The Lord be with you. Them. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and pray, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For through the human race is divided by dissension and discord. Yes, we know that by testing us, you change our heart to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit, you move human hearts that enemy may speak to his author again. Adversary join hands and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it come about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. Revenge give way to forgiveness, and this cause is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 
holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who come in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hands you extend to sinners, the ways by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that convert this at last to you. We might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death, and now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us. We entreat you, sanctify this gift by the outpouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, who command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set earth free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hand, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the plus of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us the flesh of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept this also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. We may, may he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the Bishop and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, 
so on, so bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquets of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine for in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, traces, later and peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously rent her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Let us offer is offer the sign of peace and love. Lamb of, of God, God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Pande vida, cuerpo del Señor, capo blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first, who there is severe, porque Dios es amor. We are the dwelling of God, fragile and wounded and weak. We are the body of Christ, called to be the compassion of God. On the vida, 
Cuerpo del Señor, Capo blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first, put the reserve porque yo sé amor. You call me teacher and Lord. I who have washed your feet, so much you do as I do, so the prayers must become the least. Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor, capo blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first, for the reserve, porque yo sé amor. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through your partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Today we have LB going to share with us about Advent. And so for a few minutes, and after her sharing, gave you the blessing, final blessing. Yeah. Good morning, and thank you for coming out this morning. It's beautiful. What a gift from God. When they asked me to talk about Advent, I thought about when we were kids that, you know, we were taught you give up something so that you can make a warm manger for the baby Jesus to come to. And so we gave up things like chocolate and bubble gum and cussing and, you know, whatever. But now that we are adults, it's like Father said, it's about action. It's about doing, not taking away, but adding to. And actually, I was thinking this morning after the gospel that we are God's instruments in doing this. So in doing that, um, God gave us reconciliation. He sent his son to reunite us with him. That has already happened. And so the reconciliation that we celebrate is us to God. And we do that 
by healing the relationships that we have with other people. And so I decided to focus on the peace prayer of St. Francis. It's been one of my favorite prayers forever. And a little bit about St. Francis's background. He was born in 1182 and he died at the age of 44. He was um, a rich playboy when he was young. His father was a silk merchant. He had all kinds of money. He quit school and fancied himself to be a troubadour. And then he decided he wanted to be famous by being a crusader and being made a knight and a prince. Well, in the meantime, a neighboring city-state decided to attack Assisi, and he got captured. Whereas so many of the other people around were killed and maimed, they took him for ransom because with that fancy new armor he had and that wonderful steed, they thought that they could get some money from him. So he was thrown into a dungeon with several other rich people from the city as they negotiated a ransom. Finally, after a year or so, he was ransomed, but in the meantime, he had had a total conversion. When he came out, he went to the church, the small disused chapel at San Damiano, and the crucifix looked at him and said, rebuild my church, fix it, it needs help. And so he took that literally, but he also took it figuratively to mean that he was to go and start working on the bad things that were happening within the church and fix it, make it a church of the people, not of the riches. And so what he did was um, sell a bowl of his father's silk and sell his fine stallion and go to the priest at San Damiano and say, here's money. Well, the priest said, uh, no, I can't take that. Francis got angry, threw the money down and left. Well, his father was irate and tried to get the civil authorities to arrest him. They wouldn't be involved in a family matter. And so they went to the bishop and the bishop listened and Francis, of course, respected him. And when the bishop said, pay him back, that is your father's money, Francis denounced his father. He said, I have no, he no earthly father. I only have our father who art in heaven. And he stripped all the way down to his birthday suit. And the bishop gave him one of the very coarse robes that the peasants used when they were going off to crusades. That was it. After that, Francis was totally converted to the point that where one time he was walking across the street and he saw a leper. Ordinarily, he would skirt and laugh at the person. He went up to him and kissed him and hugged him. And he said that was the sweetest moment he had ever had. Well, St. Francis, because he denounced all that he owned and didn't own, because he believed in absolute poverty and working for others, he then was filled with such tremendous peace. And so he wrote the peace prayer to help people find the way to attain the peace that he had that everyone wants. And so his prayer starts, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. It doesn't say, give me peace. It says, let me bring peace to others. Let me empty myself and focus on others so that I will give them the peace. The, there's a story about a wolf that had ravaged the countryside and eventually killed a child. Well, the villagers were up in arms and they were going out to kill the wolf. And Francis said, wait. It's hungry, let me go out and, and talk to it. Well, he did, but the wolf came with him. Now this is a wild animal, a ferocious wild animal. Can you imagine the serenity that Francis exuded that an animal like that came to him, trusted him? Remember, you see the pictures of birds landing on his arms and in his hands because he 
was so filled with peace and joy that he emanated it to everything and everybody. And I know that story is probably apocryphal, but it does have its, it has some roots in history anyway. Um, when St. Francis said that, he's asking us to help others. Don't worry about yourself. Look toward others and you will find your peace. He said, where there is hatred, let me sow love. He didn't say, love those who hate you. But where you see hatred, sow love. Plant it. Be like the parent you know, whose child disappoints and disappoints and disappoints and continues to get in trouble. You still love that child. You don't like the things that he does. You're angry at him, but you love him. You give an example. He knows that he can come back or she can come back. So again, St. Francis is saying, look outside of yourself. Look for where you see someone trodden down with hatred and be the glow of love. Help him ignite it in some way. Where there is injury, pardon. Again, it's if, if you are injured, of course you pardon others. But if you see someone injured, talk to that person. Explain that you understand. Explain that you feel what he feels, that your empathy is there. If you are connecting with others, and it's not for your personal benefit, it's going to be helping in bringing peace to that person as we're asking. Where there is doubt, faith. Again, your example. If your family finds it hard to believe and you continue to believe, you are still a beacon there. If you are acting, you are still taking care of the example that you need to give. And then think about the relationships. If there is doubt in a relationship, then give encouragement. Again, you know, if you see a friend who's having marital problems, be there to listen, don't be a judge. Be there to support, be there to show love. Be outside of yourself and for the other person. And another area of doubt, someone believes he can't do something, he's not up to the new job, or uh, she is not capable of learning one thing or another. Be the positive force. You can. You've done these things before. You'll grow into it. People will support you. Offering support in these ways are going to, will be a way to help to bring peace and bring harmony to others. Where there is despair, hope. There are a lot of people who are desperate, especially right now, with employment, with rent insecurity, with food insecurity. They, these people can be helped by finding ways, helping them to look for ways to make it, to tide them over. Perhaps you yourself help, but otherwise help find something. Um, St. Vincent de Paul, 211, whatever there can be, because sometimes people get caught in a vortex of despair and desperation and can't think clearly. So if you're helping them to think, you are saving them in a, a way. Open up a door just a crack to give them some hope. Give them comfort. They're not alone. People care. People want to help. Where there is darkness, light. When people are caught in despair, when they are depressed, you, you understand how there, that is such a dark, darkness that covers everything. If you are able to help them see a little bit of light, be with them, support them, you can't talk somebody out of depression, but you can be there with them, sit with them as you both wait for the dawn and the sun to come up. Where there is sadness, joy. And 
when someone is sad, he doesn't want to hear all of the things that he has to be thankful for because that's not what it's about. It's about probably a loneliness and a, a feeling that no one is there to help him. So don't preach, but do engage the person in a task. If he's sad, then take him outside of himself. Do something together for someone else or something for him so that you are helping them see that they can take a step beyond. You are being that instrument of peace. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. Again, it's not about me. Let me look out, help me, especially during this Advent, to see people who need help, who need to be seen, who need to know that someone cares. Acknowledge that, sympathize with them, let them know they are not alone. People care. People are there for them. To be understood as to understand. What's funny about that to me is that in the 1980s, remember Stephen Covey in his business um, from the his business advice from the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People: seek to understand before you're to be understood. So what, how many, 900 years before that, St. Francis said, it's about others. Listen before you need to speak. Clarify before you explain your ideas. Let people be heard. You be the person who's reaching out outside of yourself to them to be heard. To be loved as to love. Now that seems to be a contradiction, but it's our job to love others. And if we don't care about ourselves, well, we care about ourselves, but we don't seek to be loved. If we are helping others, we're seen as lovable. So the more we give, the more love we receive. It's in giving that we receive. Humans are built to give. You know that giving gifts releases endorphins in your brain. It is rewarded physically, physiologically, because that is what, how we create community. We give, give time, give gifts, give ears to listen, give eyes to see, give voices to understand, accept, congratulate, sympathize. If we are giving, then we are receiving because people are caring for us. To be pardoned as to pardon. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. If we're not pardoning, we're focusing on my hurt. We're treasuring it. But if we're pardoning, then we're saying, I understand, I appreciate you, I know how you feel, and that's what people need. And if they feel that, then the injury to you is going to go away because you're showing love on, on your part and they're going to respond the same way. And it's in dying that we are born to eternal life. We didn't know what we were being born to from our mothers. We can't imagine what we'll be born to when we die, but Jesus promises it's even better than what we have now. It is joy forever, it's union with him. It's that peace of St. Francis magnified millions of times. So this morning, I was glad that you went back to the second um, preface and pray, Eucharistic prayer, Father, because of what I had asked you about on Wednesday. When Father read that, it just stuck out to me because I knew I'd be saying, sharing with you this prayer. And so Father read, by the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. 
revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. That's what this is about. And then in the Eucharistic prayer, he said, Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously endow us with his very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. We're asking for the Holy Spirit to help us become united with others. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. So this prayer echoes that our reconciliation with God is our reconciliation with other people. Even if we don't feel there's something to be reconciled about, we need to remember that on that last day, that next coming of Jesus, when he says, welcome, come into the kingdom of my Father, and we say, Lord, when did we feed you and clothe you and give you something to drink? And he says, when you did it to the least of these my people, you did it to me. So in extending ourselves to others, emptying ourselves of self, we get the benefit of being filled with love and peace and the massive benefit of the coming of Jesus at the last time, which is what our uh, Advent preparation is about. So we help others prepare for the coming of Jesus as we prepare. So please remember that the peace prayer of St. Francis is perfect for throughout the year because it does exhort us to do what Jesus told us to do, to love the Lord God with all our heart, all our soul, and all our being, and love our neighbor as ourselves. Thank you. Please join me to thank LB for preparing and share with us a wonderful reflection on this advent. Thank you so much, LB. And also this year of the Archdiocese is the year of the Eucharist, and Archbishop always asking us to talk about that and see closing in wonderfully with her speak. The Eucharist is the core of our spiritual journey and faith. Thank you so much for taking time after Mass during this Advent, and we continue to invite more people speaking and sharing with us. So please stand up so we have the final blessing. Thank you so much, LP. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God whose love has gathered us this day. Thanks be to God who helps us and guide us our way. Thanks be to God who gives us voice that we may thank him. Deu gracias, Deu gracias, thanks be to God most high. Thanks be to God for all the gifts of life and light. Thanks be to God whose care protects us day and night. Thanks be to God who keeps in mind us who forget him, Deu gracias, Deu gracias, thanks be to God most high.